Alright guys, I'm going to teach you how to set up your chat filters now. So the first thing you need to do is right click the tab that you're trying to work with and go to settings. Um, I have an add-on called chatter which has its own settings, you don't need to worry about that. So here you go, settings. For your general tab, I suggest just having all this activated. I mean your general tab is going to be, when you log in every day, this is your default tab. Alright, so you can set up your default tab any way you want. But you should always have like a, a like a mess tab. You know, one that's got everything activated. Uh for me that's my general tab by default. Alright, so you have all this activated, you have whatever channels you want to be activated. By the way, when you join the MHX channel, make sure you do it in all caps, you bastards. None of this lowercase bullshit that we've been saying. Um combat you know all the stuff here oh, whatever you want I mean this is like this is your free-for-all tab okay it doesn't have to be your default one either you can make it one of these extra ones then what you do is if you want to make a new tab create a new window name it whatever you want blah blah okay and then you go to settings it comes with some default choices all right pretty simple so I'll show you some of the other t uh, tabs I have going so here's my guild one this one is mainly just what I what I default into daily. Okay, so this is my way of not, you know, ignoring people when they're messaging me on Real ID, Battle.net, Whispers, all that other shit. Um, I don't have emotes up because people out there emotes ban. I don't have any raid or instance up. I have a separate tab for that. I'll show you. You want the MHX channel up pretty much in all your tabs because this is a big channel we use for our allies and stuff. Not a lot of people talk in there, so it's fine. But you should have it up. I don't have any of this information on here. Okay, I don't want to be spammed with trade skill stuff, money loot, all that other crap. If you really want to know what the role is, that's fine. There will be an information tab that I suggest you guys having. So yeah, this one's party is fine because if I'm in Snam with a hunter group, Right? It makes sense that I would have, you know, your party's not going to be spammed with information, so it's fine. You just, this is the one tab you mainly want to be having at all times. Alright? Because look, people are going to be spamming. Local defense is going to spam you. Everything else is going to come through on your general tab. So this is the messaging tab you want. Now, I have basically everything in guild, right? Here in messaging. See, it's very, it's the same. Nothing here, MHX, and the only difference is I have raid activated. Right here, we'll turn that those on too. Now, the reason I have raid and instance as a separate one is if you're an LFR, that should get spammed. If you're an Ashran, that should get spammed. I typically don't even sit in here unless you know I'm doing an RBG or something where I need to be able to read the chat. I normally sit in my guild one as default. All right. Now the last tab that I suggest having, we're going to delete this. Okay. Close window. Go here. Nothing here. You don't even need any of these information, any of these channels. Here you go. This is where you're going to go if you're like, what did that guy roll for that piece of item? What did I get for experience? What was my skill up? Whatever it is you're doing, here you go. This is the tab for that shit. So yeah, there you go. Those are the four tabs I suggest having. You can mix, match, do whatever. But this one here, I mean, this is the big one. This is the one that you definitely want. Okay, it's unexcusable if backup gets called and you didn't see it because you're being spammed by fucking Ashran chat or something like that. So there you go, guys. That's how you set up your chat filters. Enjoy. Alright guys, so here we go. We're going to set up our spy and our chat log. So for the combat log, what you're going to do is you're going to right click, you're going to go to your settings. You're going to have my actions, what happened to me, spy. Um, I added spy, you can hit add filter, whatever you want. You know, Z has it as agent hunt, so here, agent hunt, alright. So what you're going to want to have clicked here, message sources done by me, by my pet, my friends, my enemy players, my enemy units, done to me, done to friends, enemy players, all this shit.
Okay. Done to everything, put checked, done by. These just checked. Then we're going to go to the message types. You're going to have everything clicked. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. You're going to go to colors. Um, for you, you probably should have something, I don't know. I like to have green. You can have whatever color you want. Uh, friends, you know, like, um, maybe like a lighter green, maybe like a teal or something. I don't know. It's totally up to you. Enemy, enemy units, this is kind of like, uh, NPCs. A little less important, maybe like a lighter shade of blue. Enemy players, I like to do blue, um, because, yeah, blue, uh, you know, alliance blue. So, yeah, makes sense, right? Neutral is neutral NPCs kind of shit. And uh, unknown, just some really fucking weird color, pink. There you go. For highlighting, you want all these four checked. Uh, for entry line, by target. Damage number, color by school. The rest of this you're going to leave unchecked. Then we're going to go to the uh, formatting tab here. Show braces, unit names, that's all you want. And then verbose mode. So you can see up here what it will do. Oh, see? Adds a little bracket there. No bracket. See? Brackets. Good shit. Verbose mode. City or tells you your name. Pretty simple shit. And the last tab, settings, you're going to want to have all this checked. Alright, super simple. Now here I have spy and agent. So what I can do is I click on spy. Click on agent. Alright, blue. Alright, somebody's casting shit in this area. Um... Ice Barrier. He cast Ice Barrier. He's a mage. It's showing up here. Okay, he's a mage. Somewhere around me. I don't know where he is right now, but that's fine. Because I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this. I'm going to show you the other thing this does. See, it shows here. Burst of speed. Alright, guys. I'm going to show you the two ways that Spy will pull information into itself. The first way is if someone casts a spell. This guy just casts something. It can be a spell. It can be, it can be anything. If they use an ability you know whatever they're doing it'll pull information here the other way is as you can see there I can see physically there was a bunch of people in here right but the second I put my name over them bam my cursor rather it'll fill spy up so that's the other way it'll do it okay so it's that simple alright so spy also has a uh, KOS feature to it if you type spy space KOS and you type out the person's name let's find someone that doesn't have goofy ass characters in name. This guy. Carnage. Right? Spy space KOS space Carnage. Simple, right? <coughs> Type that in. Gives you a little beep. That means that it did its thing. Alright, now when Carnage is identified. Right? Let's see, we have a bunch of people on the K on the on the spy there. And then Carnage is identified pops up with a little notice here and it puts carnage to the top of your spy list alright so very handy and if you want to remove him which I don't know why you'd ever want to remove him you just type in the same thing carnage done right the beep lets you know that you've done it and I don't know where he is now but it wouldn't pop up with that little thing so okay and the next thing you want to do is configure it Alright, so space slash spy space config pops up with this message here. I don't like having spy in battlegrounds or arenas because you should be using BG add-ons for that and arena add-ons for this. It, I mean, it, there's no reason other than to just hog resources from a other add-ons. It's kind of stupid. You always wanted to have in world combat zones and you want it obviously enabled Dis for display. Show it when player spy enemy players are detected. Okay. Pretty simple. Just kind of have this shit here like this. You can have it disappear when no one else is detected if you really want. But uh, I like it always up. I just have it in a nice little neat corner. 
For alerts, self, you don't want it going anywhere else. That's just kind of fucking annoying. Um, Warn upon stealth detection. If someone walks by you and notices that they cast stealth or vanish, it pops up with a little thing. has a audio cue for it and everything else. Warn upon kill sight. That's what I showed you earlier. It'll also do it for guild detection. So if you say you added a member from chaos to your kill on site and another member from chaos shows up, it'll let you know. Hey, there are chaos members in the area. Very handy. Nearby lists, um, I like to have it one minute, you can do whatever you want. It just means how quickly this is going to clear off. Switch to the nearby list upon enemy detection. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what, what the hell that really means. Switch this display, if they're not already visible. Whatever. Moving on, map. Um, I've never really messed with this at all. Go through it, mess with it if you want. This is the most important thing here. You want to be sharing data with other spy add-on users. Alright, because there's guys in the unit like Biaseth who like this uh, feature turned on. Uh, but do not pull data from other add-on users yourself. Okay? There are certain guys in the unit that will have this checked. They understand how to utilize it properly. I do not suggest doing it. The, basically, if you have this checked and you're in your garrison, your spy is going to be filled up, right? Anytime I assess in the open world killing people, your spy is going to be triggering and you're going to be like, what the hell, man? Like, why are people in my spy? Or, even worse, say you're out here in Tanan, right? And somebody else is in Talador and they start getting into an area where there's a bunch of people and their spy starts going off. And then your spy starts going off and you're like, oh my god, there's people all around me and you can't find them. Like, how confusing is that shit? Yeah, so don't have that shit checked. It's not worth having checked. Um, yeah, it's pretty simple. And you can save your profile and put it between characters. I strongly suggest also having share your KOS between your characters if you play alts because that just kind of makes fucking sense, right? All right, guys, there you go. And that's how you set up Spy.